Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro both have incredible three axis gimbals to ensure you get super smooth video when out flying. But jerky harsh movements of the drone or the camera itself can ruin all of this technology that's working for you. So here's a quick video on some easy changes you can make in the new DJI Fly App layout to help you film video as smooth as butter on a warm summer's day. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones and it is definitely not a warm summer's day today. In fact, I am just back from a week up in the Cairngorm Mountains, up in Scotland, went up in the van where we had over a foot of snow. Brilliant snowy scenery everywhere you looked. And it was during these flights that I noticed the Mini 3 Pro's menus and screen layouts for adjusting the smoothness and the EXP settings had completely changed. And I have to say, in my opinion, for the better. Movement of the drone and the camera is obviously going to completely dictate how smooth the resulting video is. So we always want smooth camera and drone movements. These can be adjusted very easily. And we can also adjust how sensitive the initial stick movements are as well, getting things even smoother. Now, these settings have to be adjusted when the drone is on and it's best to have it when it's up in the air hovering. So you can experiment and see exactly what settings work for you. So, Let's get the Mini 3 Pro up in the air and we'll go through those settings now. Okay, so I've got it up in the air. To access the settings that I want to change today, you're going to go to the three dots top right and then you're going to go over to Control. Then you scroll down and now it's called Gain and Expo Tuning. And if you go into that sub folder here, you will see uh, a new screen and uh, with some little graphs and the like. And this is the screen that is critical for adjusting the smoothness and making things as smooth as you want. Now you'll see straight away, we have got three versions of this screen. You've got the Cine, Normal and Sport because you can actually set and save different uh, adjustment settings for different flight modes. Because obviously in sports mode, you want things to be going a little bit faster, more dynamic. Cine mode, you want things even smoother. So it's brilliant that you've got three different versions of the same settings. But for now, I'm gonna to stick to normal mode. And we'll go down first to the first, you've got max angular velocity. Right, so they've changed the name of this. It used to be yaw, and it's just basically talking about how the drone turns on its own axis. So this is controlled by the left stick. And when you turn the left stick, quite a fast movement. So this is one of the worst, most annoying features I see on drone videos, where you've got a very sharp, nasty turn uh, as, as the drone is flying. So we want to take that right down. So let's uh, go back into that setting. I find uh, literally around uh, 30 degrees. Okay, there we go. Now, full lock, you can see how the resulting turn is much smoother. But, <laughs> but wait, there's more. There's actually another very, very useful little setting just below it. If we go back into that, you'll actually see the your smoothness. Smoothness is a buffer. How quickly it will start and how slowly it comes to a stop when you're actually turning, um, when turning the drone. So this is actually a very useful little uh, adjustment and I tend to have this up high. So if you see here, when I go full lock and start turning, it starts slowly, I let go and it carries on for a few seconds after I've let go. Again, let go and it slowly comes to a stop. And this is a way of making very, very smooth, gentle turns where, when you're flying. So just to recap those two settings, because they are so important. Angular velocity, how quickly the drone is going to turn on full lock, have that low. Value of around 30 degrees is about right. But the smoothness, which is the buffer, you want to have that up high. Not too high, otherwise it'll take forever to get going. So let's go down now to Expo. Expo is a, funny. it's exponential, basically, exponential stick sensitivity. And uh, all this means is you're adjusting what happens when you start to use the stick, that first couple of millimeters when you start pressing that stick. And all that's gonna happen is it will make it more sensitive or less sensitive. To be honest, you probably don't want to, you don't need to adjust this, but here's the difference that it makes. So, um, Stick with the yaw, because that's what we were just adjusting. So yaw, 
If I adjust that like that, you can see the blue line has gone very vertical. What that means is that the moment I do a tiny little bit of stick movement, it's going to send maximum signal straight to the drone, making it very sudden. So again, if I just go there, tiny bit of stick movement immediately results in the movement. And same back, literally the tiniest bit of movement, and we're still turning. Take it to the other extreme, roughly around, you can see around 22, 23, you want a, a little bit of flatness because basically the way I see it, when you start moving that stick a couple of millimeters, you want things to be moving very gently. If you want a harder turn, a faster turn, then push that stick further and you see how it will go all the way around. So that's what the EXP adjustment is. Like I said, a bit of a flat in the middle is probably about right. Then we go down to the uh, gimbal. You've got this uh, last setting at the bottom, you've got the max control speed and you've got the uh, tilt smoothness. Now this is all to do with the gimbal wheel that's going up and down here. I'll show you the extremes. If we have it up high, when you move the gimbal, you can see how fast it's moving. Not very pretty. So again, we want to bring that speed down. Let's push it down to around 20. 19 will do. Now full wheel lock and you can see fairly fast but nowhere near as fast as when obviously the speed is on uh, full whack. Now just below that you've got the tilt smoothness and this is the uh, buffer just like we had on the, uh, the yaw smoothness. So the tilt smoothness is how slowly the movement will start and how slowly the, ga the gimbal will come to a stop. So again best if I just show you Reduce it down to zero. When I start, it stopped and it stops immediately. So it starts very abruptly and stops very abruptly. So again, you probably want a nice little bit of smoothness on that. Go back into those settings and bring the smoothness up. So let's just go for around uh, 22, 23. Now, when I start moving the gimbal down, it slowly starts and when I let go, it comes to a gradual stop. I'll show you again. When I let go, there, it comes to a slow stop. So just like the yaw rotation, you want to have a relatively low speed, but a relatively high level of smoothness. I can put some of my favorite values, if you like, I'll, I'll do some, um, I'll put them in the video notes below. Now, the last thing, remember, as I said, you've got uh, the same set of settings for cine mode, and for sports mode. First, cine mode, I'm imagining you really want things very, very slow, smooth and cinematic. So again, you're going to want a low uh, rotational speed. You're going to want uh, quite a high degree of your smoothness on there. And going down to the gimbal pitch, going up and down, again, probably very low speed and a high degree of smoothness, keeping things very slow and gentle when you're in the cinematic mode. Conversely, when you're up in sports mode, generally you want things moving a little bit faster. I wouldn't go uh, to the top of the scale though, about halfway. Not so much smoothness on here for sports mode. And again, down below, control uh, the pitch speed. Probably want that a little bit faster, not too, and then again, more smoothness. These settings have such an enormous effect on the smoothness of the flight and obviously the smoothness of the camera itself. So critical to get them right I think. So take your time, have a play and hopefully you will end up with much smoother video. Anyway, bit of a chilly day today so as ever if you like this give me a little thumbs up, always helps the video along. Um, click the sub, ding the dong, get notified when I put new stuff out. Got lots coming up in the next few months. Um, as ever wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having fun. Till next time, have fun, happy flying.